Well, I had fun today. Of course, you want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, hello, Professor. Were you watching that? Yes. Is there a problem with that? Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. You might think about doing the same thing. Your beauty, and your gorgeous, won't last forever. You? Really? I never would have guessed. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. I'm glad you understand. Not everyone appreciates the necessity of taking the initiative while you're still in your prime. Or are you just saying that? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless you'd like to take care of me into my old age. That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? The thought hadn't crossed my mind before, but come to think of it, that might sound pretty nice. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later, Professor. <sighs> Professor, I... Oh, <laughs> don't worry. It's nothing. Actually, could we talk for a bit? Somewhere a little more private? I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I find you a little difficult to be around. I know, I know. I'm your student and you're just trying to watch out for me. <sighs> By the way you look at me sometimes, it's like you're seeing right through me. No, don't apologize. I know you don't mean anything bad by it, and I'm just self-conscious, I guess. The thing is, I don't have anything to call my own. No land, no birthright, no fortune. Little knowledge or battle skill. I think that's why I always clung to my popularity as a diva. Even after leaving the stage behind, I sort of kept up the act. When I look at you, it's like your eyes are accusing me. Telling me that you see right through it. That's what I mean when I say it's difficult being around you. Hey, uh, this might be nuts, but maybe you could show me some kind of weakness of yours? You know my biggest fear. If I know one of yours, maybe I'll feel less... I don't know. Vulnerable. Excellent. Well then, don't mind me. I bet I know your weakness. It's not mental, is it? It's physical. You're ticklish. <laughs> Here, I'll prove it. That's right. The next time you gaze into my soul, I know just how I'll retaliate. Um, Professor? What's with you? Why aren't you reacting to anything I'm doing? <laughs> Come on. I thought that was funny. <laughs> I swear, it's like your heart isn't even beating. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Huh? It really isn't beating? Is what I'd say if I were more gullible. <laughs> You're just fooling around, Professor. I'm not sure how you did it, but that was a good one. <sighs> Professor! He showed up! <laughs> Uh, 
Well, because you're here, of course. <laughs> you came here because you read the letter I sent you, right? Are you saying this is... a coincidence? How disappointing to think you didn't come here specifically to see me. Still, if we're meeting by complete chance, that has a certain appeal too. It's as if destiny brought us together. <laughs> and tonight is the night of the ball. Lucky me. Oh, that's just when you're looking through me in front of others. When it's just us. I kinda like it. Originally, I wanted to see what you'd do when you read my letter. I just wanted to see if you'd come here like I asked. I had a feeling that you would. Though, I suppose you didn't even read the letter to begin with. I should just be thankful I wasn't left here waiting. All alone. Forever. Do you know it's been almost nine whole moons since you arrived at Garrig Mock? You must have found a special someone by now, haven't you, Professor? Uh-huh. Right. I bet you're just hiding it. There's someone you're sweet on. Don't you worry. I won't pry if you don't want to share. These things are private, after all. Well, I ought to get going. I wouldn't want to be in the way if your special someone shows up. Either way, I do hope you'll share a dance with me later. <laughs> This may seem a bit sudden, but I want to thank you, Professor. That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. Well, of course. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? It's kind of sweet in its own way. <laughs> Professor, may I tell you a story about when I was younger? I was an orphan, living in the back alleys of Enbar, until one day I was overheard singing. That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility... I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice and they showered me with gifts, I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade, my voice would change, I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old, alone, and back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. <laughs> That's sweet of you. Even if you are just flirting. I never had much to begin with in life. And I worry that one day I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songstress. Who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. Oh, is this where you've been? Everyone's looking for you. With the war over, I'd like to think they'd at least give you a few days rest. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell them you're here. It's a rare occasion for me to have you all to myself. No, I've given up on that. I realized there was no point. Besides, maybe the person I've been looking for is closer than I realized. What? Is that... That's a ring. It would be very embarrassing if I had the wrong idea, so... I have to ask. Are you proposing? Here? Now? To, to me? I don't know what to say. Are you sure? You want to spend your life with me? 
even though I'm not a songstress anymore, and I don't come from a noble family or have any wealth or land to my name. You won the war. You could pick anyone in the world. Why would you? Okay. I mean, yes. Yes, I love you madly, and I'd be happy to marry you. But if we're going to be married, I had better think up a cute nickname for you. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, I wonder what I should call you now. Darling, my beloved. <laughs> so many options. I starred in so many operas where I captured the heart of my beloved. But I never dreamed that it would feel this wonderful when it actually happened. A life singing for you in a peaceful world. I imagine that life will be more wonderful than I ever could have hoped. I love you. I could never sing anything as pure as those three little words. <laughs>